So you're considering going to Town Hall 9, but you don't know exactly what to upgrade first because, hey, Town Hall 9 is a complicated Town Hall compared to the previous Town Hall levels. Well, you've come to the right place because welcome to the official 2023 Town Hall 9 upgrade guide. It is day 33 on Gold Pass Clash in this one-year journey, and I am already at Town Hall 9. Normally, I try to do these upgrade guides before I go to the next Town Hall because I don't know what to upgrade first. But I've figured out some things, and things are a little different for me because I am going through Gold Pass, and you get lots of extra bonus perks and loot and stuff. So if you want to follow along with that, don't forget to subscribe and follow along with my journey. Yesterday's video was the first video at Town Hall 9. But today, guys, we're going to discuss the actual upgrade guide what you should upgrade first now there are several rules of thumb number one make sure that you are maxed out at town hall eight or as close as possible i however had to rush a little bit because gold pass gave me too much loot so i had to go somewhere to put that loot somewhere but generally speaking you want to upgrade your buildings and your lab all the way before you go to the next town hall level that being said, elixir collectors and gold mines, a little bit of a gray area. I mean, you, you can get plenty of loot without those things. Um, secondly, you want to make sure that you get all of the new buildings as fast as possible. Generally speaking, you want to do those zero second upgrades day one. So things like the traps and things. We'll go through all of the new buildings that you get right now. This is them, essentially. Um, but probably the most important thing that you can do and it's only going to cost you what like ten thousand dark elixir or something like that is get the queen the queen it's a zero second upgrade and you're going to add so much damage on your base and in your attacking immediately so like literally this is a no-brainer get your queen day one next is you get a new elixir collector and a new gold i'm sorry a new elixir collector and storage and a new gold mine and storage you definitely want to get those you get a new archer tower a new giant bomb two new seeking air mines a new air defense a new wizard tower a new hidden tesla a new air sweeper and a new dark elixir drill you also get and i haven't gotten them yet because they take a long time two new expos and i'm going to prove to you guys in a future scene why you should get these things as soon as possible they're literally the best thing defensive wise that you can do except for maybe getting the queen and you also get 25 new walls. And as you can see here, they are already level nine for me because I get tons of crazy loot with the gold pass with the season bank. So if you guys decide to buy the gold pass or any of the special packs or anytime you want to spend cash in the game, don't forget to use a creator code. And if you'd like to support me with that code, use code Klaus spelled K-L-A-U-S. So now that we've talked about all of the new buildings that you get, and you want to get those things quickly, you want to upgrade those short upgrades when you have time to pay attention to the game. Uh, it's cool to know what doesn't get upgrades between Max Town Hall 8 and Town Hall 9, and that is a very short list. You get your existing gold and elixir storage are maxed out, and your giant bombs that went to level 3 are also maxed out. Then, of course, you don't get upgrades with the Builder Hut until, what, Town Hall 11 or something? So everything else gets an upgrade, and now let's go into the first major section offense wow we guys at town hall nine there are so many really great upgrades that it was incredibly difficult to pick an order for your offense buildings they all need to be done as soon as you can as soon as you have the loot uh make sure you time the upgrades to where they don't finish in the middle of the night that way that builder's not sitting forever you want to make sure you keep your builders going but dudes seriously huge huge progress uh and and you get so much good stuff so let's just discuss it first things first you get your laboratory upgrade that day one naturally i used a book of building on mine that way the power potion effect that you get whenever you upgrade your town hall um actually applies to my troops because your power potion is dependent on your lab so i like to finish the lab as soon as possible so mine's already done uh obviously the queen and the king are both essential keep your heroes upgrading and get them to max as soon as you can but but, but, you know, you, you can't do them. You can't do all of your queen upgrades and then all of your king upgrades and then and then do your spell factory, right? So it, I'm just talking about like what I like to look at first, but that doesn't mean you don't do them, right? So uh, very important is the spell factory and the spell factory gets one upgrade and it will unlock the jump spell and the free spell. Huge. Plus it gives you two spell capacity. So this one will be one I upgrade probably today. Like after we film, once I get a builder, that thing's going down. So I'm going to be upgrading that today. Uh, once I get to 15%, builder discount in the gold pass so i've already got the 10 percent. i got that within yesterday's video actually i'll be getting the 15 percent today day two of of uh of the second season of this series um army camps are huge you get uh five more troop capacity each so i would definitely upgrade those as soon as possible you also have the dark barracks and you get two upgrades for this i think this is a very very important upgrade because you unlock the witches 
and you unlock the Lava Hounds. And everybody knows both of those troops are part of very powerful Town Hall 9 armies. So I would upgrade the Dark Barracks probably before the Barracks. I mean, the Barracks unlocks the Baby Dragon, which is huge. Really good farming strategy, uh, really good support strategy or, or support troop. Really great. But I would think my my personal opinion is that getting the lava hound is more important than the baby dragon that's just me they're, they're it's a close second so i don't want any controversy in the comments but huge huge important thing and then the dark spell factory which doesn't give you an extra slot or anything like that like a, like a spell slot all it does is unlock the haste spell which is huge if you're going to use like lalo or L lunian or something otherwise you don't need it really um and then of, of course the skeleton spell if you upgrade the dark spell factory again and i highly recommend doing that although i rarely use skeleton spells they're great for like single targeting infernos if you're going to be attacking a town hall 10 or enemy heroes to keep them distracted but other than that i mean you could usually handle them in other ways so that is my tentative organized list of offense buildings and my number one priority going forward is getting these things upgraded and maxed out. Now let's move on to resource infrastructure. So like we've already talked about, you don't get a upgrade for your gold and your elixir storages, but you get new ones. You get new uh, mines and collectors. You get some new drill, a new drill. You get upgrades for your dark elixir storage and of course your clan castle. Clan castle might be more important than some of those offense upgrades, okay? Because clan castle is sort of an offense building, um, but it is something that holds a lot of loot. It's a resource infrastructure, but I would probably do that before the army camps even. So upgrade your clan castle very very soon just because we're breaking this down into categories doesn't mean it's like you have to do all of category one before you move on to category two life isn't perfect you don't always have the loot the timing doesn't always work out you might like doing something sooner than something else this is just a general guide so upgrade that clan castle for sure dark electric storage is probably the most important non-clan castle resource infrastructure building so definitely upgrade that i think it gets two upgrades it might just to get one let me see can i find that yes okay so you get two upgrades that's awesome and then you also get again the new storages both of those need to be upgraded to max as well it's always good to just hold more loot everything else from this gold storage down everything else it's a gray area do you need to upgrade them maybe maybe not i mean you're not going to struggle with getting dark elixir but you are going to struggle a lot more for getting dark elixir than at town hall 8 because you have 50 hero upgrades not just 10 right 50 hero upgrades you're gonna you get your queens you get to go to level 30 your king's already level 10 he goes to level 30 that's the 50 levels so you do want to get those drills upgraded and i'm gonna go ahead and swap them because i think that the priority list is is swapped so this is your new dark elixir drill get it to level three and then upgrade all three of yours to level six i believe is how high that goes yes so that's that's major you're gonna get a lot of free dark elixir i highly recommend doing that before their new collector in mind just because again golden elixir is kind of easy to get your hands on uh i use it as a filler it's like if i've got some extra time during the day upgrade those short upgrades it never hurts but yeah it's it's a very there's a very clear line of priority here so you get upgrades for every trap that you have except for the giant bombs but you do get a new giant bomb so you do want to upgrade that as well and you get a new seeking air mine and all of yours get upgrades too so it's kind of a major thing uh traps are the difference between a dead base and a living base aside from ammo and some defenses uh axe bows is the only example at town hall nine that has that problem so traps are huge i don't always do them before defenses of course i kind of intermix them all but defenses is clearly the most interesting section it's got to be last got to save the best for last so the seeking air mines and air bombs the air targeting traps are always my top priority because dragons healers uh baby dragons at this point balloons i mean it's just it's huge to upgrade your air targeting traps your giant bombs very very essential for hog attacks which are very popular at uh, town hall nine and, and witches and things like that spring traps skeleton traps and bombs are more of a nuisance than anything those three sets of traps are usually my last um defenses in fact you know what i would probably put spring trap or skeleton traps above the spring trap i'd probably even well i don't remember what capacity you gain whenever you upgrade the spring traps but it doesn't matter to me uh that is that is my order of priority i usually upgrade the bombs last in the trap section so that's simple and they're usually cheap they're filler upgrades and they're quick so definitely use those when it works for you so now let's get to the part that i've been waiting for and i'm sure you have been too the defense section 
So to come up with this list, all I do is put together a mixture of different statistics and give it a formula. So the formula will pop up on the screen. It includes things like the DPS gained, if it's a splash damage defense or not, what's its range is, and whether it targets air or ground or both. And then of course I divide all of that by the time it takes because you want to gain DPS on your base fast. I'm not gonna necessarily consider the loot because I'm assuming that you're a farming monster and loot doesn't really matter. Um, and there is probably a confusing thing on the screen right now, and that is builder huts. Why are there builder huts? What's what's up with the builder huts? Well, there's builder huts because I don't have my expos yet. And uh, so I can't, so every builder hut on the screen right now is an expo and not, not that there's three expos, but each one represents a different level of the expo because you get level one, two, and then three expo at town hall nine. Also, I want to mention that uh, we've already discussed the new defenses. You want to get your new defenses and upgrade them to the same level of your existing defenses because you gain a ton of DPS at a very fast uh, at uh, any town hall level. The new defenses is how you gain tons of DPS quickly. So just to demonstrate this, and I'll throw a, uh, a, a, a screenshot of my spreadsheet of how I came up with this effectivity rating. Um, again, with the equation and everything, it shows you guys that the Expo level one, which is right here, that's the that's the Expo level one, the first one you get, it is, um, it's got an effectivity of 30. Now, I know that number doesn't mean anything, but let's give us some perspective. The number two thing, which is your wizard tower going to level seven, has an effectivity rating of 10. So it's triple the effectivity rating. It's effective at making your base strong. That's why I call it that. I, I'm the one that come up with this. So if it's air, if it's if if there's a problem, it's my fault. Okay. Don't no one else is to blame. So um, yeah, so this is the order in which I'll be upgrading my defenses. Expo to level one, wizard tower to level seven. I know that's level six. That's because I need to upgrade it still. Archer Tower level 11. Effective, effectivity rating of six. There's a fast drop off. Wizard Tower is clearly like the best defense. By the way, one thing I want to mention is the target range, right? Um, is it ground or air or both? I, I'm able to give that a number because I just look at how many of each troop is ground or air. And then I come up with the proportion. There's no way to predict human behavior. So I can't tell like if if certain units are going to be used more often or less often than others. I do know, however, that even though something like the air defense may be number five on this list, odds are I'll end up upgrading it much earlier because I just know from experience, air seems to be a little more common and a lot more powerful, right? So upgrading, even though that's what the numbers say, things are flexible, right? So anyway, uh, Archer Tower, then cannon. Shockingly, the cannon is number four crazy because it gains a lot of dps it's great air defense is number five mortar is number six bomb tower is number seven now, i'd probably swap these two actually because mathematically there's no way to, to to account for the explosion at the end and that you know that bomb tower explodes at the end it's detrimental to hogs especially so we definitely want to i'd probably naturally bump up the bomb tower i'd probably put the air defense above the archer tower just like so and i'd probably even put the bomb tower in front of the cannon too that's just that's just me this is my personal opinion the uh the tesla is not very good of an upgrade and doesn't it get three upgrades oh no that's town hall eight okay so the reason why the tesla's so low is because it is a long upgrade uh time wise and it has a very short range so that's that's a big part of the reason why it's so low and then expo level two and level three are very very low as well because you just don't gain a lot of dps and the upgrades take a long time and by the way these statistics are based on targeting air and ground expo only maniacs point their expos at only ground uh unless you have a really good reason and you're like a pro Put your expos on ground and air, okay? Just do it. And then the last one is Air Sweeper because it doesn't do damage. There's no way to include it into the chat, into the, uh, the mathematical equation. So this is the list in order of what I'll be upgrading defensively. And the only other thing I need to talk about is walls. Dump your extra loot into your walls. Don't forget to upgrade your walls and your heroes. I just wanted to drop you guys a couple of statistics about your king and your queen. So the queen and the king. Uh, based on my by, based on my math, I've heard people say otherwise, but and I'm, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I've got quite a bit of math here. Um, your your uh, your laboratory will finish before your builders will, and that's just the way my math turns out. A lot of people say it's the opposite. I don't see that. Um, and that's not including gold pass discounts. So the king has 
20 levels and it should be maxed in 46 days and that's if you keep him upgraded constantly right 46 days the queen has 30 upgrades which is 10 more and she is only 51 days so only five days extra because those extra 10 upgrades are really short so um again if there's no expo uh, no gold pass discount no magic items no nothing you get about a month and a half two months of um uh, of hero grind before your town hall nine heroes are maxed out it's totally worth it trust me you're going to experience it on Gold Pass Clash, so stay tuned. If you have any questions, don't uh, you know? feel free to post them down below in the comments or definitely join my Discord server. Don't forget that we have giveaways in every video, so if you saw a random code that popped up on the screen, there's a link in the description where you need to redeem that. But the first person that redeems it wins. Not every person that redeems it wins. And you have to put in your shipping info first as fast as possible before anybody else to win so one winner per code link for the redemption link is in the description and uh, i am also announcing this prematurely but um, i'm going to be doing giveaways on my discord server as well so join my discord server a link for that is down below in the description um and lastly don't forget to become a member uh special perks are coming 5v5 wars and uh friends list and clan spots and all kinds of stuff so hit that join button down below or use the link in the description to become a member thank you to all of you who have and uh that'll do it for me today thank you so much for tuning in um and i'll see you all next time